When it comes to the selection screen in WWE games, not a year goes by without someone complaining about the amount of Triple H or Undertaker characters filling up the selection screen and taking the spot of an up and comer, therefore today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new next gen version of the selection screen complete with a whole host of new features to not only help streamline the selection screen itself but also offer up a better user experience in future WWE games. Scrolling through the selection screen of WWE 2K20, it's incredible just how many duplicates there are in the character list, with three versions of Bailey, Becky, Natalia, and The Undertaker, not to mention five versions of Charlotte, and that's before we even get to alternate attires. Whilst it is true that these characters do need alternate models so that they can feature alternate entrances, moves, and music, all of which aren't possible to assign per attire, there is a way to keep these models in but streamline the selection screen so that it isn't clogged up with all these different versions. To achieve this, I've introduced a new feature which groups together all alternate characters under one single selection, with each selection noting how many alternate models are available and giving the player the ability to cycle through these by pressing left or right. Pressing either direction will see the current version of that superstar change to an alternate version, with these options being alternate models for different periods in time rather than alternate attires. Once you've chosen a specific character, then this will take you to the attire selection screen where you can then choose the attire that you want to use. Staying with the attire selection screen, we've all made the mistake of selecting the wrong attire to the one that we want at some point in time as the render shown on the selection screen only shows the top half of the character, making it hard to preview the selected attire. For that reason, taking a look at the bottom of the screen, you can see a new rotate and zoom option which is mapped to the right thumbstick with this option allowing players to preview the selected model by rotating the character 360 degrees and having the option of zooming both in and out. With this new addition, this allows the player to fully preview attires before making a selection so that they can ensure the attire that they choose is the one that they want. The WWE 2K series has always offered players the ability to switch between male, female, custom or downloaded characters which was fine in the days of smaller rosters, however these days it's common to see upwards of 200 characters included which can prolong the time it takes to find and make a selection. To make things easier and offer up more options to the player, I've included a new filter option which can be accessed by pressing R1. Selecting this new filter opens up a sub-menu that will allow the player to select various filter options such as the type of superstar, whether that be in-game, a created character, or DLC, as well as the gender of a superstar or even the show that they're assigned to. Selecting any of these options and pressing apply will see the selection screen updated to show the results, making it easier for players to find certain types of superstars such as legends as you can now display all of them together rather than scrolling through the list to find them individually. Another cool thing about this is the ability to select multiple filter options such as setting the gender to female and then selecting NXT as the show as this will quickly display all of NXT's women's division. WWE Live is a similar feature to the live player ratings seen in the FIFA series which when enabled will see the overall rating of a superstar updated to reflect how they've been performing on TV. With this feature turned on, anyone who's found themselves on a good run of form and picked up a series of impressive wins would see their overall rating increased. Alternately, should a superstar find themselves on a bad run of form and suffer multiple defeats, then this could badly impact their overall rating and cause it to drop. The best thing about this feature is that it allows for any star making their debut in the series with a low rating to have that rating increase should they find themselves in receipt of a massive push, meaning that they're no longer stuck with that initial low rating. One of the best additions to the selection screen is the inclusion of real-time character models in place of renders as not only do these allow for players to preview the model as mentioned previously but they also make a big difference visually making use of the power of next-gen consoles. Due to these models being live previews, it also means that you can have them performing various animations such as this idle animation when scrolling through and previewing the list, a fighting stance when making a selection, or even a tired of waiting animation if the player leaves the console idle for a few minutes, which in itself would make for a cool easter egg and have players trying it on different characters to see if they have different animations. 
So there you go, that's the updates to the selection screen that I think would make a big improvement and really push the game forward using the power of next gen. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're not already, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more videos just like this. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video. Have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.